As a child of the 90s, I remember how much bullshit Diddy, Puff Daddy, Sean Combs, all the, the monikers he goes by. I remember all the shit he bullshit he's been associated with, attached to, deaths, rapes, sexual, like all of that shit. I remember all of that, being a kid from the 90s who listened to Wendy Williams. So none of this comes as a surprise to me. What does come as a surprise to me is the amount of mainstream coverage of this so if you don't know diddy's house was raided on march 25th this past monday um three different properties properties in la uh miami and new york city were raided and they just they tossed his house all over right arrested his kids they tracked his private jet and dmz got footage of diddy like uh, what do you call it, pacing back and forth near Miami Executive Airport. And then they got video of him talking with, um, you know, Homeland Investigations, all those people, as well as his drug mule who was later arrested. His kids were arrested and released. His male sons and his female twin daughters were with him. And they now, since, because the whole week everyone's been laughing, oh, where's Diddy? But now he's finally been spotted on vacation, spring break, with his twin daughters who are still underage. But I don't find this shocking at all. I hope Wendy Williams is in right of mind to just see a lot of her predictions and her reporting come to light and have the general public understand this. Now, not only is this mainstream news, this is becoming a verb, like saying no diddy instead of no homo is now a thing in New York City. And rightfully so, because the bullshit he's associated with and the people associated with him, it is bigger than, you know, the whole uh, Drake versus Kendrick Lamar rap beef. Now it's creating a divide versus who's speaking about it and who's not. One clear person who's been on Diddy's ass is 50 Cent. 50 Cent has not liked Diddy for a very long time. Maybe because he took his baby mama. Maybe because he offered to take him shopping. I think that's a code for a, a Diddy situation. You know what I'm saying? And 50 Cent is about that life. 50 Cent is a troller. And I think Diddy reached the right one when it came to messing with somebody on 50's caliber. Who isn't about that type of bullshit. He has his own bullshit, but not that. Diddy, on the other hand... All the celebrities that are quiet about this, like the silence is loud, loud as hell because ain't no fucking way. One of the largest producers ever who created much of not only the sound of the 90s, but the style of the 90s goes down like this. And he's not even gone down yet. They're just investigating. He's not under arrest. And they're not saying what he's under arrest for. Back in November when Cassie did that whole, um, that $30 million settlement against him and all, all of this, this sort of opened the floodgates for him. That, uh, he settled that in less than 24 hours, which made everybody eyeball him. Now this dude alleging the same things Cassie did, plus more information and bringing names of other celebrities such as Usher and Meek Mill and, and who else he got? And Stevie J and all of these people who were into Diddy's fuckery, if not on the same level, worse. <sighs> not looking good for these celebs you know because it's one thing to be gay it's another thing to be down low with it and having a public image and even coming off as homophobic but doing this shit behind the scenes but they see this is the problem with making it making it in hollywood and in popular culture these days there's some nefarious bastards in charge and you have to do their bidding you have to do they want to get to a certain place this shit's corrupted it's all rigged and if you're not 100 percent self-made you're mm, somebody somebody anywhere i don't know where but anyway with cassie's argument um or lawsuit i should say he settled quickly and it alleged that she was cooperating with federal guest investigators who then denied they responded to her allegations of their impending you know investigation they denied it and raided the nigga anyway like they pulled they pulled the drop step <laughs> <laughs> it's just like ooh. but I feel like Diddy had it come like he knew about it somebody warned him or something 
it's a lot of information and I find it personally funny. I feel like everyone he's done wrong and bad boy that have like passed on who are now ancestors. It's funny how his house was raided on Biggie's Ready to Die 27th year anniversary since he dropped Ready to Die. I think it's telling. I think Big is reaching out <laughs> beyond the grave and like bring that ass here, boy, one way or another. And he has so much shit on people because there are alleged videotapes of other celebs in compromising p positions. I don't know. It's not looking good for Diddy. All I can say is I what I think, and they said this on a Joe Budden podcast too. Yeah, I won't be surprised if he's Epstein. You know what I'm saying? So I got to say about that. But did y'all hear about the supposed BBL stink? As a person who's been around people with BBLs, meaning women who received uh, fat transfers to their buttocks from other places who gone under the knife for the big butts. You know how they all have that shape? Apparently it comes with a stench. And y'all let me know if this is something you've experienced. I've experienced this. And I think as a nail artist, I equate it to this. It's hard from going to short nails to long nails in one session. You're very clumsy, you're knocking them into things. It's more likely for them to break. With BBLs, it's hard to go from like having a flat booty to a big booty because you don't know how to get in there and clean it. There's a different standard of hygiene when you have a more shapely body. As I knew, as I was able to grow into and adjust to, having a natural body, working hard and, and adjusting it through exercise means only. Women who do it surgically, they have that change like this. Plus you have the leaking of the fluids and uh, it's, plus women like that, to be honest with you, I don't think they have good hygiene habits anyway. A lot of those women that have been around these industry parties, like, their breath are normally stinky, they underarm, as long as they look good, right? But everything that glitters is not gold, trust me. These BBLs really do stink, but what do you think? Have you been around BBLs to see that? That's just a side note. I found it funny that those are two things that were trending. But I want to come in here and talk about that. If you enjoy these talks and what I'm doing, comment down below. Like, share, subscribe to these vids and get the conversation going. I'm really interested in what y'all have to think about Diddy. Because this, the universal overarching thing is just like, fuck that dude. We all knew he was into shit, to some shit. Now it's confirmed that he's into some shit. And we'll see how it unfolds. I think the case will take years, but we'll see. So yeah, comment what you think. Like this video, you know, these daily things into other people's business sometimes my business but i just like to talk and get on here and connect with y'all so i'm gonna get to my workout i guess i still have my bonnet on because why does my hair need to be out i've been home all day cooking cleaning taking care of my man and i'm about to exercise and cook again so bye subscribe